What is up you guys? My name is Madison. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. So it's currently the day after the 4th of July. It's Sunday the 5th. Um, and today I wanted to go through six books that helped me get over a reading slump kind of um, during quarantine since I was in a very bad one. Um, I'm still kind of in a reading slump, but I'm current, I'm kind of reading a little bit more. Um, so I'm in the middle of reading two books currently. Um, and I do want to kind of add, um, some of the books or one of the books that I'm currently reading in like each of my booktube videos. So like a currently reading like update kind of thing. So the only, so I'm reading One Piece, but, um, I don't want to go get it. But I do have Catch Me If You Can, the true story of A Real Fake by Frank W. Abagnale. And it's Frank W. Abagnale. I don't know why I said it like that. Let's talk about this one. It's because one, I'm reading it for school. Um, and two, I like this one just a little bit more than I do like One Piece because, you know, One Piece is obviously made for younger children. Um, but this one, this book is the story of a con man and how he became the greatest con man or one of the greatest con men by uh, the age of 19. And it's kind of how he started to become a pilot and this really successful successful businessman man at 16 without actually like having any degrees. We're, I guess, faking them. So this is the only nonfiction book I've read during quarantine, I believe. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a good book. I definitely recommend, but I am only on, I'm in the middle of chapter three, but I'm currently uh analyzing chapter two because i have to analyze the entire book so yeah but anyway on with the six books that got me over quarantine so the first book i actually don't have um it's vampire night by matt Surihino. i think that's how you pronounce his name if i said that wrong i am so sorry um i did only read the first volume but i watched the entire anime and um i can't find the second book or most of the books anywhere in English. Um, so if you know where to find those or where I can read them, please let me know. But pretty much it's the story of vampires trying to hide themselves while still going to school with humans. Um, so uh, I guess like the headmaster of the school, um, Cross, he uh, made a school with a day class, a night class, a day class is all humans um and like their guards i guess are his daughter yuki and her best friend zero um who both experienced traumatic things with vampires and the night class which is all vampires are pretty much run by the last known pure blood uh kaname something or another i don't like kaname <laughs> but yeah it's pretty much a story of them trying to like stay hidden and everything like that and it's just a really really good manga um the next book I have is The Giver by Lois Lowry. This follows um, our main character, Jonas, who was chosen for a special job, which is um, which is the only job not given out each year. Um, he is the receiver and he is to receive all memories of kind of like a past life of warmth of snow. The Giver was a pretty popular movie. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure most people know like the basics. Um, but he lives in a world without difference. Um, and so when he receives these memories, he's like, why are we living like this? I don't want to live like this. And the giver is like, I know it's bad. And so they pretty much set up um, a way for him to get out. Um, but there's also a baby that is living with Jonas that his father is taking care of. Um, but his dad is like, yeah, the baby's gonna have to like go or die and Jonas is like what the heck no and so he's like I'm gonna take baby Gabriel with me and it's that story the next book I have is Changeling by Philippa Gregory this was the first book in the Order of Darkness series yes the Order of Darkness um this follows our main characters Luca and I cannot pronounce her name and so I'm not going to try to pronounce her name. I called her Lily throughout the book because I really could not pronounce her name. This takes place in 
1453 um there's really no like exact location um like mentioned and there's just a lot of fantasy elements but pretty much lily is a princess or a duchess of sorts and she lost her father and her brother is like you need to get in this marriage with this boy or you're going to a nunnery um, because that's what dad wanted and she's like that doesn't sound like him i'd rather go to the nunnery and so her and her best friend slash servant go and luca who lost both of his parents was pretty much put in like a jail um was like waiting for death until somebody realized wow he's really smart and so he had to go to the nunnery to kind of like cast out all evil because something bad was going on um and it's pretty much their story together and then like once they figure out like that mystery they go on another journey and they solve another mystery and i didn't really like this book until like the last maybe 50 60 pages but once i started to like it like i loved it and this was just really good the next book i have is uh war cross by mori lu i will never stop raving about this book it might just be um the age i'm at or it is really just good but mori lu's stories are very like plot driven but the fact that i can get so close to the characters in the way that i did uh says a lot about her writing style um, so this uh, follows a girl named Amika Chen who lives in poverty. She lost her dad. She grew up in foster um, and she's about to lose her home and to kind of escape everything. She does what everybody else in the world is doing and puts on kind of like VR or yeah, VR lenses, I guess. And she's also a very, uh, not really a well-known, but she's a great hacker and she knows pretty much everything there is about the game. I'm talking so fast and I'm so out of breath and I have so much homework I need to do I'm so sorry um but she hacks into a game without even realizing or hacks into, like the biggest game of like the year without realizing it and when the owner and creator of the game and the company Haido Tanaka is like like realizes her talent um uh he's like you need to come to Tokyo right now and he calls her until she comes and so when she does he's like i need you to you know solve this mystery for me i need you to figure out who's like destroying my game um and so it tells the story of like how she's doing that she um how she enters the games and it's also a love story which i think is really cute um yeah The next book I have is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. This follows the story of a girl who is sick um, and her name is Maddie, Madeline, Madeline, something like that. Um, and it's the story of how like a girl gets sick and is like allergic to the outside until she meets a new boy who lives across the street named Ollie. <clears throat> and it's kind of like the story of her falling in love with him and then like trying to figure out like does, do I really have this disease you know or is it all just a lot because she did end up going to Hawaii but this is a really popular book I'm sure everybody's either read the book or seen the movie or both so you know I don't really feel that bad about spoiling this one which is kind of bad but like it's a really good book and I gave it a five out of five <clears throat> And the last book I have is The Griffin Project by Carrie Mack. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but like this is like one of the most anticipated reads that I had for like months. So like I didn't really like start getting into books until maybe like the beginning of April, so like the very beginning of Corona and whatnot. Um, but I found this book while going through um, <clears throat> Bad Place on the Internet because they don't know how to be inclusive and don't like black people. So I stopped using them. Um, anyway, found this book and I was like, I want to read it. It sounds interesting. And so it's kind of like, so it follows our main character, Phoenix, who's about 15, 16 years old, and her brother, Griffin, who is about 17 or 18, and like their friends. So there's Nadia, who's, um, you know, Phoenix's age. There's Saul, who's Griffin's age. And then there's Nika, who's 14, 13 or 14, and a couple other ones that I can't remember. Um, there's like, there's another weird name that I can't pronounce and he's like maybe 15 or 16 as well. Um, but 
uh, pretty much it shows Griffin kind of like as he's getting like really famous and like his prime because he's like he's the chrysalis man pretty much um but he also likes to make fun of phoenix for dying twice and then being um resurrected resurrected almost or reckoned as they call it um and they're considered three purrs which means they can get resurrected twice so they could live um life three times pretty much um and then when Phoenix is like something's not right because her brother starts to act up and is like really mean and hostile and isn't acting like himself and he's not winning as much anymore and he's like throwing all of his races she's like something's wrong and so when Griffin ends up dead and Saul gives like tells her something about himself she's like what's going on what's going to happen and so when Griffin um when his death is ruled off as a suicide she's like that's not true something happened and so pretty much she's trying to figure out, you know, how to save her best friends as well as her brother because everything she's ever known is coming crashing down like on top of her and the way that the story was told and like how slowly it was told was just so, so good. And I definitely loved this book. Anyway, that is all for today's video. Um, please stay educated please stay smart please keep fighting because nothing is over yet you know black lives still matter lgbt lives still matter you know mexican lives still matter whatever all all lives matter but you know those people have been you know quiet recently but um yes please stay educated please keep donating please keep signing petitions please i am begging you anyway that is all for today's video i hope you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe down below um all my social media also be down below and i will see you next time whenever that may be bye